Hi, I'm Ed Dulles, and I'm the inventor of Delta Toast. This is Delta Toast. Um, it is, in my opinion, the best stovetop toaster that's ever been made, the most efficient um, uh, and um, useful stovetop toaster. Um, the reason I invented it is because for a long time, I've had very small kitchens in my apartments, and not enough space to keep an electric toaster, not enough counter space. So I, I looked around, I spent a while looking around at what kinds of camping toasters and stovetop toasters existed and they were all very unsatisfactory and not, not easy to use and inefficient. So I said, well, I, I'll try my hand at, at coming up with a better concept. Uh, in just a second, I'll show you how to use it to make toast, but before I do that, I want to point out a few things about it. Um, to open it, all you do is grab it by its feet like this and pull it out. And as you can see, it has a very uh, attractive triangular shape or delta shape. And from there, we get the name Delta Toast. On the bottom, here in the middle, we have a, um, a heat shield. It's a double layered stainless steel heat shield. And this is what protects the crust of the bread from getting burned, even though the bread is basically directly on top of the uh, burner. On either side of the heat shield, we have two rectangular stainless steel wire mesh flame diffusers. And in the case of a gas stove, these break up the uh, flame and convert the flame into infrared rays, which bounce off the internal walls of Delta Toast and land on the bread to toast it, okay? Um, so I'll show you how to close it. It's real simple. Just turn it on its head um, and put it down on a flat surface. Make sure the flame diffusers are in the up and down position like this. With your thumbs, snap the struts out of their um, uh, slots like that, okay? And pull the sidewall closed and do the same on the other side, okay? So there it is, it's closed. It's in, the, in a, a very compact um, form now, as you can see, it's about one fourth or one fifth the size of an electric toaster. Very easy to put away for stowage now in a kitchen cabinet or uh, in your kitchen, hanging it, you can hang it on a utility bar or if you have a boat or a motor home, uh, same thing, you can hang it up. Um, so it's very versatile um, and very easy to stow away. So now let's, um, let's toast a piece of bread. I have right here a, a standard um, piece of sliced um, packaged um, bread from the supermarket. Uh, just take the bread, slide it into the bread slot, okay? Make sure it's centered, all right? And turn on your stove, turn on your cooktop. I have a timer here set to two minutes and 30 seconds. Might take a little bit longer than that, but we'll see. The flame uh, should be set to fairly low setting so that uh, it's the flame is just high enough to to for the tips of the flame to touch the flame diffusers. The flame diffusers will glow a sort of orange red color while it's toasting. Um, so it works on both gas and electric uh, cooktops. Um, in the case of an electric cooktop, you don't need the flame diffusers, obviously, but I would recommend that you keep them on anyway just so that you don't lose the uh, diffusers. Um, but you can take them off if you want. Um, it's made of, it's made in Italy from 100% stainless steel, a 304 food safe stainless steel. And it's hand assembled, uh, again, in, in Italy. And I think it's got um, a good deal of this sort of made in Italy design flair. Uh, it's an attractive item. Uh, in fact, I, I tend to leave mine out uh, open on the on the stove top because I just like the way it looks. So I don't I don't need I don't put it away very much myself. But that's just my my choice. Um, 
it um, is um, durable. Uh, so I think I don't see any reason why it couldn't last for, for generations, um, which you can't say about an electric toaster. I don't know how long a typical electric toaster lasts, but it's maybe 10 or 20 years. Um, one, one really good feature of Delta Toast is, the, is this bread slot here, which is adjustable in width. So right now it's set at the minimum setting, which is just perfect for um, standard um, package sliced bread. Um, but, it, but it gets much wider. It goes out to about three and a half centimeters wide, which is, which is wide enough um, for uh, a sandwich. You can toast sandwiches in Delta Toast um, with the help of a silicon uh, washable, reusable toaster bag. These um, uh, are items are specially made to go in toasters and they will not burn. Oh, there's the toast, there's the timer. Let's see how we're doing. Um, I'd say we can use a little bit more time. I might just turn up the flame just a, no, uh, just a, a bit. So as I was saying before, you, uh, all you with, with your sandwiches, all you have to do is take the sandwich, put it in the toaster bag, leave, uh, I recommend you leave the open end uh, facing out horizontally and just uh, slide it in the way we did with the toast. Um, in the case of, of a sandwich, you need to cook it longer. It's more, more about six minutes um, at the lowest uh, flame setting. Um, so you want sort of a, 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 a less intense, longer uh, toasting. Um, and you just slide it out and, and, and it's ready to go. The, 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 the sandwich is very warm, the cheese is melted on the inside, and uh, believe it or not, the uh, bread um, is toasted and dry and crunchy on the outside. Um, these, these, uh, these silicon bags do, do an amazing job. So, um, let's see. I think we're pretty much done. Okay. So, one very common question that I get is, how do you get the, the bread out of the toaster when it's so hot? And it's really pretty self-evident and easy. Just take a spoon or a fork or whatever you have and um, nudge, the, nudge the bread out like that. As you can see, uh, it's, it's got a very nice golden brown color. Okay, it's, it's, kind of, it's very warm, so I'm, I gotta kind of handle it gingerly here. So, um, but it's, it's, um, it's really a nice result. It didn't get burned on the bottom, as you can see, so that, that, uh, that heat shield definitely does its job, okay? So that, I mean, if you think about it, it was, it was directly on top of that flame for three minutes, and, and it's not burned, so that's, that's pretty, pretty impressive, I'd say. Um, you may notice that there, there are these kind of lines right here, which I call the tan lines. Kind of reminds me of a day at the beach. And um, what these are, are um, in, inside Delta Toast, there's a, there's a frame that holds the bread uh, in the vertical position, in the, in the uh, up, upright position. And these, um, this, this is a sort of a shadow of that frame onto the bread, okay? Um, and importantly, um, Delta Toast has toasted the bread on both sides simultaneously, the same way that an electric toaster does, okay? There are other uh, stovetop toasters, uh, like I said before, there are other stovetop toasters out there, camping toasters, and, and, and I wasn't satisfied with them. I thought they were very inefficient. One of the reasons I wasn't satisfied is because they only toast the bread on uh, one side at a time. So you have to intervene at mid-cooking and flip the bread over. All right. Which, uh, one, is a bit of, a, of, a, of an annoyance, but two, what it means is that while you're toasting one side, you're exposing the other side to the open air and, and basically cooling the other side. All right. The advantage of an electric toaster and of Delta Toast is that you are sort of keeping the bread, by, by heating the bread on all sides, you're keeping it oven warm. And that's particularly important uh, in the case of a thick slice of bread or um, a dense slice of bread. So that's you know particularly the kind of bread you get when you buy bread at the bakery and you cut it out of a loaf, okay? 
So that's that. Um, it is dishwasher safe, okay? So you can put it the whole thing directly in the dishwasher, uh, which you certainly can't do with uh, an electric toaster. If you've ever cleaned an electric toaster, you know how fun that is not. Um, it, uh, on the cook times, um, the, typically the first slice of bread takes between two and a half and four and a half minutes to, to toast. Um, and, but that will depend on the thickness of the bread slice, the density of the bread, and of course the heat level on your cooktop. Okay, so the second slice and the third, each successive slice that you toast takes um, uh, less time. The second slice takes considerably less time than the first slice. And the reason is because the unit, the, the toaster is already heated up. So the toaster itself the, is not absorbing heat from the cooktop. All of the heat is, is, is going basically directly, uh, you know, to uh, immediately towards toasting the bread. Um, the, um, the, the unit is cool enough to touch with your hands after 10 minutes of, of cooling down. And after 20 minutes, it's at room temperature. Uh, sometimes people ask me, well, how, what do I, what if I need to move it and I've just used it? Well, um, basically, you know, uh, usually you don't need to, 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 to move it after you've just used it. I, I think that's, I've used mine hundreds and hundreds of times. I think there may have been once or twice where I felt I needed to move it. But if you do, it's, it's, it's self-evident. Just grab a dish rag or a oven mitt or whatever and move it, okay? So, um, I guess that's, th those are the main points. If you want more detailed information um, uh, on the product, including specific tips about how to use it on an electric cooktop, go to the website, which is deltatoast.com. And there's um, all sorts of information, including photo gallery and dimensions of the, of the toaster uh, and so forth. So thanks very much for watching.